Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hi and welcome to the channel. I hope you'll enjoy your stay here. And if you're back, welcome back. Had to have my uh, camera zoomed all the way out. <laughs> we have a big box here. As you can see, it is the 300 set of the Color colored pencils. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, but now this is their newest set. They did previously have, and yes, I do have them. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even state on here. This is their 240 set. Now I had purchased this a long time ago. It has been sitting here. Um, as many of you know, I have been kind of away from the recording scene for quite a while and I am trying to uh, catch up on videos. So I thought, hmm, let's see what the 300 set looks like. I am going to maybe do a future giveaway at some point of the 240 set. Okay, so today we are going to look at the 300 set. Like I said, I do have my camera up as far as it goes, um, but this is a big box. <laughs> so let's cut this open. I have not looked at these pencils at all. Oh, they come packaged pretty nicely. Let's put it down and pull. Oh good, they come out of the box nice. Yeah, they come packaged in these. Oh, yep, box is empty. Okay. In the styrofoam, which is nice. That is awesome. You know, really helps to protect. Oh my gosh, this box is heavy. To protect the pencils. So that is great like that right off the bat. Let's get back out my knife. Let's get the plastic off. Now, is a 240 set enough? Yes. However, if you have full set syndrome like me, do you need the 300? Yes. <laughs> no, you don't. Matter of fact, for a lot of people, this is just an overwhelming amount of colors. And you know, many of these colors are going to be very similar. Um, you know, especially with the more budget type of colored pencils, as well as uh, alcohol or your markers. A lot of the colors in the larger sets are very similar. Um, but let's see, it says premium colored pencils. Soft Touch, Premium Expert, Artist Premium Quality. Yeah, with uh, the budget sets, I know a lot of times they like to say artist. I take that with a grain of salt. Rich and vibrant colors, we shall see. Soft, smooth lead and non-toxic, again, we shall see. Pretty much states the same thing. And I wanna kinda be careful when I turn this over. Um, on the back of the tin, because it is in this nice metal tin, features color brand, vest, and a variety color range. Yeah, I would say with 300. Soft core lead with highly pigmented. Hmm. 300 unique, vibrant colors, no duplicates, suitable for precision coloring and filling, ideal for drawing, illustration, illustrating, and coloring. Break resistant, soft, smooth, and thick lead. Professional grade artist quality colored pencils, unsurpassably light fast. That's another big question mark. Um, budget companies actually testing out light fastness with, there's, there's two different scales uh, colored pencil companies can go by. It's very expensive to actually test out, truly test out light fastness. So you're more uh, premium colored pencils like uh, polychromos, uh, 
uh, luminance. They are expensive for a reason and actually getting the true light fastness of those pencils is one thing that adds to their expense. So I, I really question this. Um, artist quality, smooth color lay down, vast color range. Does say a number and color name on each pencil, so that's good. Beautiful artwork on the outside. I'm assuming the 240 set has probably different artwork. Let's pop open the tin. Is this hinged? No. Okay. Oh, I see on this side has a selection of their other colored pencils. So we do have some 72 sets, 120, 70. Here's the 240. I knew they had a 180. Different 180 is one watercolor. Not sure. And then a 120. So, yeah, they have lots of different sets. I think they even have more than this. I think they have smaller sets than 72, don't they? Um, I'm going to look out on Amazon. I'll leave links to as many of the different sets, um, size sets that I can find. So, yeah, I'll have a lot of links down below in the description to some of their products. If you're interested in checking out any of these, Maybe you're interested in the color, but you don't want to, you know, get a set of this huge. Come on. Um, maybe you want to try out one of their smaller sets. And I smell the aroma of new pencils. <laughs> we do have a sponge in here to further protect them, so that's nice. Ooh, look at this color chart. It's printed on very heavy cardstock and it's kind of in book format wow look at this holy cow so it does say the number on the pen and then the color name so it does go just in numerical order hopefully they're in <coughs> they're not <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully they're in numerical order, but they're not. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Because I thought we would use this chart to swatch on him. Yes, we're going to swatch every single one of these bad boys. <laughs> um, yeah. And let's look at, oh, okay, on the inside of the tin. They do have listed all of the colors along with their color numbers. Now, because this is printed on metal um, with ink, you truly cannot go by this itty bitty little circle. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I would not go by these colors. It can give you a general idea. Um, this won't be the exact color of the pencil. It's just, it's impossible to match up paint of any sort to the actual lead that's coming out of here. And that's why a lot of times it's, it's kind of hard to match up the barrel to the exact color. Now, some companies do a much better job than others. Um, again, I think your more premium companies spend more time trying to match them up better than the more budget companies. Um, but again, it, it gives you an idea, and this does go through numerically, again, like the color chart. So it'll kind of give me an idea, when I put these in numerical order, where <laughs> in all the pencils I'm going to be looking. Like 001 is mulberry red. So then it goes through some pinks, reds. Yeah, that looks what's all in the beginning. Then we get into some oranges and yellows. But yet there's yellow down here. And yeah, it kind of jumps around. Now I am assuming um, there's 240 colors all the way down to here, the fluorescent. After all the fluorescents and there's all the metallics, we have numbers 241 through 300. So these must all be 
the new colors. That's one of the reason um, I want to do the swatching of all of them so you can see the new colors, especially if you already have the 240 set. Does it pay really to upgrade to the 300? Mm, it's totally up to you. What I wish Color would have done <laughs> came out with a 60 set with just the new colors. Wouldn't that have been nice? Yeah, so then I would have just kept the 240 set and purchased the 60 set. But again, I can use that set for a giveaway in the future. All right, so we do have this nice color chart, like I said. Let's take a look at the pencil themselves. I want to pick up one that we're going to be able to see the printing of stuff on it relatively easy. Now, okay, I'm going to zoom in again. This is, again, a brand of pencil that likes to use, as many, many brands use, the silver metallic um, on these shiny barrels. To me, that's hard to read. Um, sometimes you have to turn them in just the right light in order to read them. But with that being said, these are written in pretty big font. Um, they are quite easily read. So we have the color name here. We do have, I'm assuming, what is the lightness factor? Yes. So we go by plus signs. Not sure which way. There's two different ways um, that light fast, fastness can be displayed on pencils. One system goes with one being the highest and four being the lowest. The other system goes with one being the lowest and four being the highest. So it all depends on supposedly, again, what system they're using. Again, I really, really doubt that they were true, they're truly going, you know, and that they were thoroughly tested for light fastness, but I could be wrong. Um, so that is, well, again, let's, let's take a better look at that. We didn't finish. So in this silver, like oval, is the color number. Now it's the silver oval, and then you can read in color the color number. So this is 021. I don't know about you. I go by the color name much more than the number anyhow. Then we have the two silver bands and the name color on the end. They are capped on the end. I kind of like the look of that um, rather that it, than it being uncapped. However, if it is uncapped, you can see more um, if the lead is centered in that particular pencil. With it being centered, they are going to sharpen correctly if they are off center. You're going to notice when you sharpen them, it's you're going to have more wood on one side than the other. Um, can be more prone to possibly breakage, um, whatnot. So you definitely want yours centered. Now this one looks pretty good. As you can see, they are all pre-sharpened. They do have a blunt end to them. And that, and you can't see any of that. And that is purely for shipping reasons. A lot of times these pencils come with like a little bit of a waxy coating. So it's always suggested when you first start using these pencils, sharpen them first before you start coloring. Therefore, what I am going to do do, I am going to sharpen all three, I was going to say 600, OMG, I'm going to sharpen all 300 of these colored pencils on camera with you guys. Just kidding, would that not be annoying? Um, I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all of these in numerical order. Uh, that'll take a while, won't it? So, I'm not sure how quick I will be back with the rest of this video. It may be next week before I get to recording the rest of this because 
that's going to take a while yeah so let's look at the trays themselves we do have these little dugouts <laughs> for getting them out it is of course like usual you know the more flimsy plastic trays now with nails i'm probably going to have a time getting out the lower ones so here we have some of the purples and the reds. That one we had more of the yellows going into some pinks. A lot of the reds getting into some deep reds. Oh, look at all those blues. Oh, is that not gorgeous? Looks like we have some blue violets in there. So this is tray three. Oh, that is beautiful. I can see myself dropping one of these. Oh, look at the greens. Oh, and we have kind of some blue green. So this is tray four. Beautiful. Starting to get into a dark green. Does that continue? No, of course it doesn't. Look at these purples. He's still my beating heart. Those of you who have been with the channel for a while you know purple's my absolute favorite color oh and the odor of these pencils yes my precious <laughs> we get into some earth tones i quit counting we do have some metallics here a lot of metallics and then yeah into some earth tones So with all these greens and browns, if you like doing landscapes, we're going to see how many great skin tones there are. Now we have kind of a, ooh, a mishmash of colors here. Yeah, so maybe it'll make a little bit more sense when I put them into numerical order, and maybe it won't. So we must go from one to five as far as the light fast rating this one has five yeah and we have some more earth tones and some grays we have silver in here oh look at this is this not gorgeous beautiful array of colors looks kind of like they're pastels maybe oh that is pretty what a sight oh okay bottom tray seems to have gotten a little shaken up i think this will be the bottom layer oh my gosh I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it down there. The struggle is real, folks. I, it seems that they're all okay, though. This one. Hmm. See, now this one, I have to question if the lead is centered. If you see this. So you see there's more wood on this side versus this side. That kind of tells you that the lead may not be centered in that pencil. So I'm going to see what some of these sharpen like, and I'll let you know when I come back um, whether they sharpened well. And I'm going to try sharpening them in both. I have an electric sharpener, which is what I use the most, but I do also have um, a really nice heavy-duty metal um, m and sharpener that is very, very nice. Um, this thing works great for those of you who don't like using electric sharpeners. So I'm going to also try using this on some of the pencils, see kind of which one works better. This typically is easier on your pencils, all your hand held sharpeners are. Um, but many of the electric sharpeners and the crank sharpeners are okay on your pencils also. This, this one, yeah, and it was in the very last slot, so I guess I can understand uh, this one got broke off. 
but that is the only one. Matter of fact, even the first one is fine. So that is the only lead that came broken. I'm surprised that, well, I guess I shouldn't be, um, that it came jumbled. You know, it was so well protected. But I'm sure in the shipping process, this got really shaken up um, a lot. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised um, that the bottom layer got jumbled up. But all the rest of the layers were fine. So let's put it back in and count. One, and we have two. Why do I put them in? I'm just going to take them back up. Three. Now, I won't be sharpening these all right away. Anyhow. Four. A lot of layers. Oh, be careful. Careful, careful, Lisa. Five. They do fit in here snugly. I have purchased a case for these. It's a 300 case, so. Six. Oh my gosh, right? Seven. Just let it fall in. Eight. I know. Taking my time, ain't I? Nine. Oh my gosh, there are ten trays in this thing. So obviously we have 30 pencils per tray. Ooh, that's a lot of pencils. So, um, like I said, I am going to be pausing it here. For you, it'll be a pause. For me, it might be a week. Um, and I'm going to, again, sharpen these all so we can get a more accurate representation of what the lead's going to look like. Because, yeah, there is probably a little bit of a waxy coating on these. Um, and put them all in numerical order so it coincides with the color chart. So, yeah, I just wanted to record this today to do the initial unboxing and show what they look like. Again, I'm pretty sure the first 240 colors in here are what the is in the 240 set. The last 60 is what's in this set. So with that, I am going to say adios for now. Again, will be a split second for you. Um, and we will come back and swatch all of them using the included swatch chart. Now, I always make my own swatch charts, um, but it will be much, much faster to use this one where they already have the number and name on. Um, with 300 pencils, um, it takes a lot longer for me to write the number and the name during a swatch. We want to go the quickest way possible, right? Um, so, yeah, again, I will be back in just a minute. Bye for now. Alrighty, I'm back. And it's only one day later. Mm -hmm. All right, worked on this last night and then finished up this morning with all the sharpening and putting them in order. So this is now empty because I had gotten really pretty <laughs> 300 slot pencil case so they all fit in here nicely I'll leave a link to this pencil case down below in the description if you are interested it does have this pocket on the outside so if you do want to keep this let's see will it fit in here yes it will so if you want to keep you know this color chart with the pencil case you could we are going to use this to swatch. So let me open this up. I do have them all in order. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Now the one problem I have with these single zipper pencil cases 
versus the multiple zippers. I know it's much easier to open. It's really hard to get pencils out of the first sleeve and the last sleeve. So what I do is I just turn this inside out. <laughs> and you're much, it's much easier to get to them. So I'm going to do that to the first sleeve and then to the very back so we can get our pencils out. So, little trick for you, a little tip. Okay, a couple of additional things that I do want to mention about these pencils is they do have a 3.3 millimeter lead, so it is a little bit thinner than some of our other colored pencils, um, like the Derwent. They have a 3.5, and the Polychromos and the Luminance are even a little bit thicker at 3.8. And our Black Widow, though, is thinner like these. So it is a little bit of a narrower pencil, but still feels really good in the hand. But I just thought I would point that out. So currently, when I bought this set, they were about 55 bucks. Um, they do have watercolor pencils too. Color has so many different sets of pencils. Um, let's see, was this? Yeah, 31. 31, yes, it goes in there. Um, tons and tons of different sets. Now, I did see they have a set, is it the 180 set, I believe, that's in a red tin. That showed that the core size was the three point, I think it was the 3.8 lead. So I don't know, but the vast majority of them were all this 3.3 um, thinner lead. So I will leave links down below to all the different size um, sets of the color, uh, colored pencil sets, you know, the, the 300, the 240, the 180, um, what's next I can't remember but there's you know there's just a ton I won't leave links to the watercolor pencils because that's not what this video is about um, so are we uh, ready to start swatching when I did sharpen these pencils the very first six I sharpened with the metal M&R sharpener I believe I showed this in the first uh, part of this video. Um, you can use the one side for the very large pencils and then of course you use this side for your standard color pencils. Now this is a very good handheld sharpener. It's very heavy, very nicely made. Um, is my favorite handheld sharpener. However, ironically enough I had more problems using this handheld one <laughs> than I did my favorite battery operated one. You can see I need to empty this. And this is my AFMAT. The thing I really like about this is, again, you can, um, this will sharpen any shape, any size of colored pencil, including the square brute pruners. Um, you can specify how uh, big of a tip you want on it but it is rechargeable so you don't have to worry about batteries so um, again I'll leave links to both of these uh, pencil sharpeners down below in the description all right let's get on to so watching um, if you've seen my previous swatching um, videos oh shoot I was gonna get some black paper also. I will be right back. Okay, I had purchased a, a pack of this Astro Brights. It's black cardstock, eight and a half by 11. I, as long as I'm leaving links, I'll link this down below too. It's called Eclipse Black. And I decided I just, when I do swatching videos from now on with colored pencils, I want to also swatch just a few of them, maybe one from each color family on black paper so we can see the opacity, especially the white. We always like to see how good of a an opaque white color pencil we have in, the, in these sets. So we'll do that also, but we're gonna swatch them out first on this color chart because 
Again, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know I make my own color charts anyhow. And I figured the swatching of these uh, pencils will go much faster if I use the color chart where the number and the name is already there rather than me having to write them all out. We'd be here for two and a half, three hours. <laughs> so this will go much faster. This swatching is going to be a long enough video the way it is. But I heard from many of you that you like the swatching videos. So um, if you want to speed it up, that's fine. Ooh, and we are quite bright here, aren't we? Let me see what it will look like. If I just turn one of them off. Oh, they're both off. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes if I stop the recording and turn it back on, for some reason, it changes. So I'm going to try that. Okay, that didn't make a whole lot of difference, but I did zoom in, and when I'm zoomed in, it's fine. So we're going to go with it. So, we're going to sweat. Now, again, this is on this very nice, heavy cardstock. Um, so, let's start with number one. Good place to start, right? Now, when I put these in um, order, some of them are in good color family order. Um, not necessarily the order. I will end up putting them in, but some of them, yeah, not so much. Like they have a couple pinks thrown in here with the yellows. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So again, these first six I sharpened with the m &R sharpener. Now in order to swatch these decent, I'm going to put this at an angle. You'll still be able to see the color, however. I tried to sharpen these not to too fine of a point so that they won't break off as I'm swatching, but some of them, of course. I wonder if it would be easier. Oh boy, these lay down nice. Wow, so that is Mulberry Red, the very first one. Pardon my arm. I'm going to have to reach over here to get them. We have, I wonder if I can do it this way, Heather Violet. No, I like this way better. Oh, these are very nice and smooth. I'm not even pressing that hard. And then we have number three which is pastel pink. Does not look pastel to me. I noticed, you know, just as I seen some of these, you know, when I kind of glanced at the color names, yeah, some of them did not match <laughs> the actual color too well. Now, I don't like, I typically like putting this side in this way because it's just, much easier to get them in and out, but then everything is upside down. So I almost had to put them in this way, and then they're harder to get in back in the sleeve, but oh well, we shall go with it. So if I take a little bit longer on this side, that's why I just broke the tip of this off. It was not the sharpener's fault. It was getting it out. This one is bright pink. Now, of course, with the 300 set, we are going to get some colors that are similar. These are all different, though. Yeah, these are going to be hard to get back in. Maybe I'll take the three out at a time. We have bright red, 005. And then we have fresh red, number six. That's a pretty red. That's a, just a nice standard red. Now, if I color real lightly, we still get quite a bit of pigment down. Oh, I do like these. 
They feel soft, of course, not like a Prismacolor soft, but they are soft. Very nice. So far, so good. Let's take the next three. We have Deep Pink, number seven. Now, yeah, some of these got sharpened to kind of a sharp point, but as you can see, with pressing down medium hard, they don't snap. They are pretty good leads. You get a little bit of pencil dust in here when you're pressing down harder. We do have red number eight. And is it Cochineal? Mm, I don't know how to pronounce it name. Cochineal? Or is it Cochineal? Red. I know I've seen that word before, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, of course, the laydown of these pencils will be totally different if you are, you know, a coloring book enthusiast. If, you know, that's why you're buying these, and that's probably what the majority of us are buying them for. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is, is going to be a hard one. Um, the paper is going to really be dependent on how these pencils lay down. Light pink, number 10. Especially if you're coloring on, like, Amazon paper that's rougher. Versus this is very smooth like cardstock, but they're still laying down nicely on this paper. This to me would work really well for markers. <laughs> Carmine red, but you can see they're still laying down nice too. And we have dark brownish red, number 12. Hey. Now, brick is B-R-I-C-H. I wonder if that's how it is on the pencil. We'll see. We shall find out. Boy, I am almost tempted to leave this side out of the pencil case and put them in later. At least for this first sleeve. Because, yeah, this is very difficult. Um, just because I have them sitting the way they are. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it is. B-R-I-C-H. -I so, I think it's supposed to be burnt brick red. Which is like a dark burgundy. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave these out. Light brownish red. 14. So, it's going to take me a while to make a color chart for these. <laughs> and then burgundy. Maybe I should have just brought the trays out, put them back in the trays, huh? <laughs> they won't be as bad though for the other sleeves, so. We have magenta, 16. That's very pretty. Yeah, the lay down of these colors is beautiful. We'll see what it's like on, what they're like on the black paper. Rosy pink, 17. Oh, isn't that pretty? And maroon, 18. So even with the tips quite sharp, and I'm pressing down fairly hard, they are not snapping off. So that is a good thing and then they don't wear down too fast it looks like you know you'll be uh, able to get quite a bit of coloring out of the pencil before you have to sharpen them scarlet number 19 peach now this is one that I noticed <laughs> peach and it's very much red Another thing that I wanted to point out when I was sharpening these, because these are capped on the end, like I said in the intro, you can't really see if they're centered 
or not. I did notice, now this one isn't too bad, many of these, and this one isn't too bad. I'll show you when I, I get to one, but many of these look to be off-center. Peach Puff. The one thing I must say is the color on the barrels aren't, now this one's kind of far off. I say this <laughs> when, when it's kind of off. Um, a lot of these aren't too bad though, considering, you know, it is a budget pencil. As I always say, when you're picking out colors, don't go by the color of the barrel. Look at the lead. That will be much more representative of the color that's going to come out. So we have pink 22. Just want to double check, make sure that I have the correct one. Yeah, see now, these are all sharpened pretty well. Pale pink, 23. Not too pale. <laughs> and light rosy pink, 24. We have cadmium red, 25. So here we go with some more reds, which of course I will be moving up with the other reds. India red, 26. That's a pretty dark red. And dark pink. That's pretty, too. Okay, finally, on this side where I am struggling, we have the last three. Peach Red, 28. Aubergine, 29. Pretty Maroon. And Pumpkin Yellow 30. So this is going to work out really good because we have three or 30 in a column and there's 30 in a sleeve. <laughs> so it'll work out good. Okay, let's go to these over here. All right. I'm going to have to... Oh, I sure hope I was on camera that whole time. If not, I really apologize. Did you see the colors down here? Probably not. So these are the colors. Here's that pretty pumpkin yellow. I like that. Yeah, I bet you I was not on camera. I am so sorry. So let's go up here to bright orange. Oh, I got this thing crowding me. Let's move you this way. Oh, that's pretty, too. And we have orange red, 32. Very vibrant colors. So far, I am liking these. Orange, 33. Hmm, yes, nice. Get these three away. out the next three. We have Brick Dust, 34. Bright Orange Red, 35. And 36 is Dark Yellow. So that's what I mean. They kind of throw in a color here and there that doesn't really belong. Okay, let's get those away. Next set of three, we have brown ochre. Nope, sorry, I lied. Brown olive. Ooh. 
warm yellow. Oh, that is pretty. That's a nice bright yellow. And apricot yellow. Does not look yellow, does it? Definitely not. I've never seen an apricot that color. <laughs> Okay, next we have Autumn Gold, number 40. Wow, look at that bright yellow. 41 is Ginger Yellow. 42 is light orange yellow. Okay. Ooh, we have burnt orange, bright orange yellow, sorry. 43. Oh, I love the vibrancy of these colors. We have desert yellow. And canary yellow. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, some of these are so nice and bright. All right. I think it's working better though, taking out the set of three. Creamy yellow, 46. Oh, first one I snapped. Yeah, that's a nice buttery yellow. Light yellow. That's very pale yellow. And shallow yellow, 48. Oh, is that a nice skin tone? So shallow yellow is a good skin tone. <laughs> Uh. Okay, we have light coral. Another nice skin tone. We have salmon pink. Look at the nice succession of colors here. And Sakura, this is pink. So yeah, these three go together very nice. Whoops, missed that one. All right, now we have shallow pink. Pale yellow, so we had light yellow, now we have pale yellow. And it does have a different, and it has a little bit of an, like an orange undertone versus the light yellow. We have the shallow orange, so they like the word shallow. Another nice, nice skin tone. So, so far, and we're not even very far into them, we've had a couple of nice skin tones. We have 55 in Nude. Yeah, and a little bit darker. You could use this for shading. Cream Yellow, 56. And Azalea Pink. It's not look like azalea pink, but it looks like it's going to be a very pretty color. This could be used for like blush or something for skin tones. Another pretty pink. Finally, in this sleeve, we have butter yellow. Two. 
terracotta, which in markers is one of my favorite colors. Definitely different than this color though. <laughs> this one is much more orange. And golden orange, speaking of orange. Number 60. Hey, we made it through the first sheet. All right. Let's go on to the next sleeve. And let's turn it over to here. Okay. We have gray blue 61. I'm going to have to turn this a little more. And 62 is cyan blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Love that. 63 is light cyan blue. Does not look any lighter to me. Has a little bit more of a green undertone than that, but yeah, not light. <laughs> Okay, we now have denim blue. Let's push this up a little bit. Beautiful. Azure. And sky blue, 66. That's pretty too. Even though we're on the left side, you know, of the sleeves, it's not near as hard to get these in as that first one. So we have cyan. So we have a lot of called these colors called cyan. That's pretty too. Light sky blue. Oh, that is nice. Always nice to have our lighter blues. Many sets don't have a lot of light blues. I'm assuming we'll have some even lighter than this. Cobalt blue, number 69. Okay. I would think, anyhow, in a set of 300, we have a royal blue. Yes, your nice primary color blue. We have a dark Prussian blue. And brilliant blue. Now by having these out of the tin for a while, they no longer have the strong odor. When you first open the box, of course, I love the smell of new pencils. It was kind of a strong smell. Now this is, I forgot to show you, this is an example of a core not being centered. See how when I sharpen this, how much farther down the wood is? Let's come down in the middle. On this side versus the other side. Yeah, that tells you that the core is not centered. However, I did not have a problem, like I said, sharpening any of these. These two are pretty good. Um, but some of them, you definitely can tell that they are off center. So, with that being said, we have Dodger Blue. Oh, I still am really liking these. Purplish Blue. So 
Some of them seem just uh, like this one seems a little bit scratchier than the others. Not bad, but just a little. And Peacock Blue, 75. That's a pretty aqua blue. Okay, next up we have a navy blue, 76. In ultraviolet, 77. And deep blue, 78. Not too deep to me, but. <laughs> like I said, some of the names uh, do not apply. <laughs> We have bluish purple. Yeah, I have to have my pencil case on my chart now to reach them. Bluish purple. That one actually is applicable. <laughs> 79. We have greenish blue. Oh, that's a gorgeous teal. Love that color. That's 80. And then light blue. Blue. See, I was hoping there'd be a light one. Yes, that is pretty. It's like a cloud blue almost. Huh? I don't know if we'll end up having any lighter than that. Because even lighter would be nice. It's a nice um, blending color. Cerulean blue. 82. Hey, that rhymed. Oh, that's a gorgeous one, too. Say that about all of them, don't I? Dark purple. See, they gotta throw a, a purple in here. And of course, I love my purples. And we have blue, 84. Then they throw in another purple in the mix. <laughs> So yeah, it'll it'll take me a while to make a color chart out of 300 pencils, but I shall do it. Deep purple, 85. It's a little bit darker than dark purple. Sapphire blue, 86. And Ultramarine 87. On camera yet? Yeah. Alright. So far, I don't see a lot of. I mean, there's colors similar. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know if there are a lot that are exactly the same so far. We have pale blue, which typically you get with a set this large. So a nice light one, but a little more on the aqua side. Intense blue. Oh, that is intense. Gorgeous. And a cypress blue. Done with another side. Let us go over to the next sleeve. And these are getting farther and farther away from me. Whoa, got them out of order now. Oh well. All right, Violet Lake. Let's grab these out. We have a Violet. Get them out of the way. Violet Lake, 091. Light, let's take this one, uh, light primary blue. And yes, I'm just swatching sloppily, <laughs> just to give you an idea of the color. Bright purple. These are a wax-based pencil, and yeah, I definitely can tell that. They are soft. 
Um, you know, they're not hard like an oil base. Primary blue. Now again, when a person says wax based versus oil based, we have ink blue. You have to keep in mind that, you know, there's wax and oil in all pencils, whether it says oil based or whether it says wax based. Violet blue is just the primary binder. So the primary binder in these would be wax. The primary binder in something like a polychromos is oil. So, yeah. Yellowish green, 97. Oh gosh, that is pretty. Like I said, we have so many vibrant colors. And we have olive yellow, 98. And light yellowish, no, no, earth tone. I do have it in the right order. Earth tone. And those are very too applicably named. <laughs> Unlike some of them, right? Okay, yeah, now we're going to be getting to a lot of green. So we do have light yellowish green here. It definitely is that. Apple green, which many times is one of my favorites. Yeah. Apple green and grass green. <laughs> Although in here, I do like that yellowish green. We have spring green. Hmm, next one is coconut green. I don't know if I've ever seen coconuts that were green either. <laughs> or maybe they are before they uh, are fully grown. Or, I don't know, do you call it coconut ripe? Ah, uh, coconut green, okay. It's a pretty green. And then emerald green. Oh, that's pretty. Nice dark green. And aqua marine, this to me. Even by the lead, does not look aqua marine. Not really. Very nice green, but so for anybody that likes doing landscapes, we have lots of greens for you. We have mint 106. Mm, not too minty. Dark yellowish green. That's a Appropriately named and light olive 108. We have dark bluish green. Oh, that is beautiful. And turquoise. Not a true turquoise. <laughs> and teal. Very pretty. Quite on the blue side for a, a teal, but yes, gorgeous. And we are getting to some aqua blues or aqua greens, blue greens. Uh, light emerald green. Yeah, not, not emerald, <laughs> but it is beautiful. Then we have aqua green. And light aqua green. That's pretty.
light sea green. Oh, pretty. How many times are you going to hear pretty in this video? Many. <laughs> Bottle green. And medium sea green. Kiwi green. Oh, very nice. Grass green. Like I said, this is one of my other favorites. And finally, on this sheet, it's bluish green. Oh, that's pretty. All right. Let us turn the page in both the pencil case and on the swatching chart. Okay, we're going to go over here. These pencils keep getting in the way. I'm going to take a sip here quick. Getting dry. Okay, we have medium green. Lawn green. That's nice. And mineral green. One twenty-three. Oh, that's pretty. It's like another teal. So I can see so many uh, color combinations, color blends as I'm swatching these out. We have dark green, 124. Not real dark. Light jade green. Must be this one. 125. And cadmium yellow. Which I'm not sure why that's over here. And it does kind of have a green undertone to it, doesn't it? Kind of a, well, a goldish color. Like I said, sometimes they just throw random colors in. And jade green. So this, does this go with light jade green? Yeah, kind of. Middle yellowish green. Oh, I like that. Yeah, we have bean green. Well, I don't think my beans have ever been that green, but <laughs> there may be some varieties that are light green. Oh, I like that. Clover green. And moss green. Brilliant. Green, 133. Oh, that's a pretty bright green, too. Yellow green. Mm, fresh green. And forest green, 135. Then we come to leaf green, 136. 
Prussian green. 137. Again, that's kind of like a dark teal. It's pretty. Mint green light. And this does look like a mint green. Oh, that is pretty. Again, this one at least is an applicable name. <laughs> and mint green. It's a little bit more gray to it. And olive green, 140. In fruit green. Let's see, what fruit would be that color? Hmm. <laughs> One more green and we get to onto some purples. We have phthalo green. So, plenty of greens, plenty of blues. Let's see about the purple. We have light wisteria. Gorgeous. And orchid purple. 144. Oh, yes. Love that. And Wisteria. Now to me, Wisteria is lighter than Light Wisteria. <laughs> they go together, but kind of opposite named. Mineral Violet, 146. And Light Orchid. So yeah, orchid purple, those two go together nicely. Finally, in this column is purplish red. Love it. I would think this would be grape myrtle, but it's crepe myrtle, and maybe I'm just mistaken. I haven't heard of that. Finally, medium orchid, 150. Hey, we hit the halfway point. <laughs> you guys are like, really? Like I said, you can just speed me up. Okay, let's go to the next sleeve over here. And we'll bring you back up here. Okay, so we have Violet 151. And Light Purple. Oh, that's a pretty pastel purple. And grape. Oh, and a pretty dark purple. Then we have purple. So some of these are similar, but yet they are definitely still different. Lavender, very uh, not aptly named. <laughs> definitely don't think of lavender when you think of that, when you see that color. And plum, 156.
we have deep magenta. 157. Pale purple. And lilac. 159. We have grayish pink. Oh, yeah. Green gray. Hmm. Yeah, it does not have a green undertone. That's definitely like a purple gray. <laughs> and warm gray. Why they have that in here, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, they just like to throw a color in here and there. And we have grape purple. Whoop, snapped one. Light grape purple, this one, yeah. Bengal rose, hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that could be. Right, now we are going into the earth tones, although I do see a green in here. We have bronze. Nice dark brown. And chocolate. 167. That's a pretty brown. And greenish gray. Like I said, threw a green in here. It is a greenish gray, but does not belong there. Now, of course, these all these earth tones can be great skin tones also. So we have umber gray. Another pretty dark brown. Now, is it Bistra? I think. And brown. Just plain brown. Yep, that is a plain brown. 171. Next up, we have light ochre. That's pretty. Dark coffee. Another nice dark brown. Deep greenish gray. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't belong here either. Well, this one again, most of them are really nice and smooth. This one's a little bit scratchier. I have run across very few that feel scratchy. This one is tan, 175. Very nice. Light reddish brown, uh, yeah, light reddish brown. And then reddish brown, yes. These three, again, go together very nicely. Which makes it easier when uh, I'm making color charts. <laughs> Dark brownish gray. Silver gray. And brownish red. 
So again, kind of odd places to put that. Both of those colors. Next up, next column, next page. Ooh, ooh, we're getting there, folks. We have, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, dark brown. Put them up here. Coffee. And ochre. Cinnamon is another color I typically like. We'll see what it's like in here. Cinnamon 184. No, very deep. Well, it, it does kind of look like cinnamon, though, doesn't it? Dark gray violet. Hmm. Again, odd place for it. it does look like a dark gray violet. <laughs> Burnt umber. So you wonder how they put these pencils in order. A lot of them is, yeah, pretty good, but yeah. And we have some grays, slate gray. Move you up a little bit here. We have mist gray. And all the grays are EY versus AY. Just thought I'd point that out. Smoky gray. Now, it doesn't look for a set this large that there are that many grays, which is very surprising. Light brownish gray. Whoops, I didn't put these back. Don't want to get them out of order. Uh, light gray. Nope. Gray <laughs> and then light gray. Lead gray. Lamp brown, so now we get into some more earth tones. Lotus gray, which is, does not look gray whatsoever. Looks like a really pretty light tan or kind of a dark ivory. And pale green. So here they're just kind of throwing some colors in again. <laughs> cyan. Nope. Orange sienna. Yeah. Orange sienna. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> and then cyan gray. Then we get into a few more earth tones. Oh, of course. Walnut brown, one ninety nine. Gotta throw a dark gray in here, though. Two hundred. Two oh one dark sepia.
pretty soon we will be getting to a bunch of metallics. Orange gray. Never heard of that one. 202. Now they throw black and white right in here. I usually have white as my very first color and black as my last. Let's see how opaque, how well of a... It's not a bad black. It's nice and dark even when I color lightly. It's a nice black. Wow, okay. And then of course we have our white, which we'll be testing up more on the black paper. All right, we are getting to our metallics. And there are quite a few. So metallic blue 205. So starting with the 205s on down, we have the metallics. Metallic cyan blue. That is pretty. Yes, and you can tell the metallics go down more, what would you call, slippery? <laughs> metallic orange, you can tell they're metallic. When I'm doing my color charts, I always put my metallics and neons near the end. Um, just as a separate category of their own. Metallic red. I don't use my metallics or neons much at all. So yes, here is metallic red. Metallic pink, 209. And metallic violet, 210. Let's see if there is a, well, there is a definite shimmer to them. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Probably not. But there is a metallic shimmer to them. Okay. We go up to the next column. All right. Let's go up to this column. Hey, we're almost on the last sheet. Last page. We have medium grass. No, metallic, sorry. <laughs> metallic grass green. Metallic light green. Not real light, but it's pretty. And metallic teal. Oh, yes. Very nice. Notice I didn't say pretty. <laughs> and some more metallic. So do we have quite a few. We have metallic ochre. Metallic gold. Now I was curious to see how, you know, true gold and silver were. Yes, that's nice. Very shimmery. Metallic silver. Oh yeah, these are pretty. And again, really nice and shimmery. The metallics are very nice. A few more metallics. Medium. Metallic green gold. Why do I want to keep saying medium? Metallic pale gold. And metallic light purple. And yes, we have more metallic. Metallic indigo. Not too dark of a blue with the name indigo. You would expect it to be. Metallic 
peel violet. <laughs> no. <laughs> and a metallic purple black. Yes. So for anybody that uses metallic pencils, you have a slew to pick from. Metallic copper, two, two, three. Metallic red, brown. Oh, that's pretty. And metallic yellow ochre. See, some of these are so aptly named, and some of them are so far off. <laughs> Who named these colored pencils? Must have been two different people. <laughs> Metallic coffee. Metallic flesh tint. Oh, yeah. And metallic orange red. Last of the metallics. Okay. We are now we get on to the fluorescence. Now, I don't know if they're truly fluorescent or if they're just neon. Uh, fluorescent means they would glow under a black light. Whereas neons are just bright colors. I'm almost suspecting these are just neons. Fluorescent lemon yellow. Look at that bright color. Fluorescent golden yellow. And fluorescent orange red. Yes. Definitely your fluorescent or neon colors, which these would look great on any type of black background picture. Fluorescent pink. Fluorescent Bengal rose, 233. Oh, I like that. And fluorescent rose pink. If you hear snoring, it's just my dog in the background. <laughs> fluorescent peach red. Fluorescent green. And fluorescent yellow green. Ooh, that's pretty. They are definitely bright, aren't they? We have fluorescent light blue. Fluorescent purple. Oh, I like that. And fluorescent indigo. Oh, that is a pretty color too. Hey, made it to the end of another column. Last two to go, folks. Let's go up to the top of the last page. All right, now from 241 to 300, these are the new colors. These are the colors over and above the 240 set. So that's why they're not in 
Um, not that these are necessarily in color family order, but these definitely are separate from the other colors. So we have bloody red. It's a nice red. Rice yellow. Never heard of that one. Nice pale yellow. And dusky flesh. Nice skin tone. Yes. Looks like we have a number of nice skin tones in here. We have cream sickle. Yes, another nice skin tone. We have cream. Yes. And apricot. Aren't those nice? Oh. Again, what a nice succession of colors. So if you like your skin tones, you might want the 300 set over the 240. <laughs> Pink macaron. Electric pink. And light coral red. Like I said, many of these sharpened very, very nice. Well, they all actually sharpened really nice. But you can see that they are centered. But there are some that seem quite off. Tangerine. But you see that with any of your budget pencils. So nothing new. Butterscotch. 251. And orange poppy. 252. Pencil case is getting in the way again. Oh, we're coming up with some more purples. Pumpkin red. Oh, I love that color. Okay. Blusher. <laughs> That definitely is a pretty pink. Ballet slippers. Some really pretty colors in here. Now I'm glad I got the 300 set. <laughs> Plum purple. These two go together very nicely. We have a pink lilac. And purple lilac. Light grape. Light eggplant. And bright wisteria. 261. Like I said, these... You know, with the 300 set, you really would expect a lot of the colors to be real similar or many of them exact, exactly the same, but that just doesn't seem to be the case with this set. Light flush. They do all seem to be quite unique. Orange, purple.
and Ultra Marine 264. We're getting there, folks. Eggplant. That is pretty. And light eggplant. Bondi blue. Another one I never heard of. There's a nice light blue. And light indigo. Another light blue. Very nice. Looks like we have a couple more light blues here. Whoops, get in here. We have Color Blue, same name as the colored pencils. And, hmm, Byzantium, I think. Oh yeah, these are pretty and periwinkle blue. Oh yeah, that is periwinkle. Last column. Last, but certainly not least, we have a number of additional greens, as if we didn't have enough greens before. We have more couple of blue greens here yet. Asian blue. Oh, that is gorgeous. Ocean blue. That is pretty too. This one's a little bit scratchier too again. And pewter green. Nice darker green. Because, yeah, I don't remember a lot of real dark greens, was there? Okay, now, let's see if we can get these in because we are in the last sleeve. Yeah, it doesn't seem this will be as difficult as the first one. Army green. Parakeet green. Now, this is the one that, the only one out of the bottom tray that had the tip broke off. So that's why it's just a tad shorter, but it's still sharp and fine. And bud green. Oh, I like that. Chartreuse. Like how they spelt chartreuse. And just plain green. Kind of more on the mint green side. Light turquoise, 279. Definitely mint green. This one has more gray to it. Mustard. Hmm. I hope my mustard is not green like this. <laughs> if I do, it'll get thrown out. Light. Is it matcha? I think. And pear green. Now a few yellows, or a couple anyhow. We have honey. And light ginger yellow. Nice light bright yellow. Then we have violet ultramarine. So a blue violet. 
Now we have some grays. Dusky gray. So if you do like grays, there are you know more grays over and above at the 240 set because I said you know there weren't a lot of grays in the 240. Ice gray, considering you know how many colors there are in that set. And earth gray. So a kind of a cool gray and some warm grays. And it looks like a couple more cool grays. Gesso gray. Yes, a nice cool gray. And dusky gray blue. Yellow green gray. Dusky chocolates. Well, that's a pretty color. And rust. Elephant gray. Very warm gray, inky gray, very much a, like a blue gray, and iron yellow. Yeah, yeah I could tell that was coming because one uh, the tip was sharper on that side. Last three pencils. Guys, are you still there? Are you? We have Camel Yellow 298. Oh, I like that. We have a Yam. Those some beautiful earth tones. These would be gorgeous for hair. And finally, number 300 is Mahogany. Coming in for the win. Oh, yeah, I like those three. All right, so the additional colors in the 300 versus the 240 are really nice. I like them. But let's zoom back out. We're going to look at the colors as a whole. So I'm not going to zoom all the way out. You can see them a little bit better. Let's move the pencils out of the way so we can open up this whole chart. Guess I will zoom out a little more then. All right. So we start out with our pinks and reds. But again, so many, I mean, some of them are definitely going to be similar, but boy, they're much better than a lot of the other budget-friendly pencils that I have seen and that I have swatched. They are all very different. I mean, I don't see any that are really identical looking. Not just, you know, glancing at them anyhow. Okay. And the blues too. Again, some that are similar, but yet they're different. So I am very impressed with the color palette. What do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous. Even with all these greens. Now, some of these that were added back here, maybe some of those are similar. I don't know. 
But again, I, you know, these purples, a lot of time you see purples that are similar to these two, but yet this one is lighter. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, not only with the laydown of the pencils, which is very nice, very creamy, not like a prisma color, but very creamy. And like I said, not many grays in the 240 set, and but a number of additional ones in the 300. Here we start with the metallics. Again, I don't think I can pick up the shininess. No, not at all. It's just washing out. But yeah, trust me. Trust and believe. They are metallic looking. And we have our fluorescence slash neons through 240. So that is the 240 set. Then the new colors. So again, if you like skin tones, some more purples. Some more really pretty light blues. A couple of beautiful teals. One a little bit blue, one more on the greenish side. Beautiful mint green. And like I said, a few more grays. And then these beautiful earth tones. Love it. I am impressed. Like I said, I like this set of colored pencils. Now let's bring let's bring this uh, back our big pencil case, and we are going to see how just a few of them uh, look on the black paper. Let's take this red. This one is flesh red. Let's bring you back in. We'll just see how opaque these are going to be. Okay, that one is not very. I don't know if I just picked a bad color or what. Let's pick one of these bright yellows. Let's see how a yellow does. And it could be this heavy black cardstock versus what black is in many coloring books. Um, let's go in through here. Well, let's pick up pink. Um, yeah, I don't have a good one. Let's pick this blue. That one is nice and opaque. That one looks good on the black. Paper. Um, let's pick a green here. And that one is nice also. And let's pick this kind of aqua color. For the most part, they look pretty good on black paper. It could just be that I didn't pick good colors there. Let's try a pretty purple. This one is Wisteria. Not too bad. Yeah, they actually are not doing too bad on black paper. Let's pick another, another purple. This one's kind of a pinkish purple. Yeah, see it it depends on the color. Some of them will look great on the black, but of course the darker the color you pick, but they still, they're still not bad. 
you know. And I think it's kind of how my light is picking it up because when I bring it down here in the light, these actually are not that bad. You still see quite a bit of black through that yellow. Um, let's pick out, here's a lighter earth tone and this one is cinnamon. Okay, that one did okay. All right, here is a light gray. This one is lotus gray. Not bad. Now we're coming to the test. We're coming to white. So let's see how the white does. Mm, it's doing okay, but I mean, it's not bad, not bad. Definitely not, you know, like our luminance or the Prismacolor white, but it's, you know, not bad at all. Let's try a metallic. See how well some metallics show up. Oh, that is pretty. Now maybe you can see the shimmer. Yeah. See how shiny they are? They're very nice. Um, just a couple of metallics yet. Then we'll do a couple of neons. Again, I like very much how the majority of them are laying down on black. Let's do a blue. Now this, now this is a darker blue. I don't think that would show up as well. So we'll just take this. So this is um, metallic light purple. Okay, let's do a few of the neons or fluorescents. So this is the fluorescent yellow. Not too opaque. Uh, we'll do a pink, fluorescent pink. Again, not too bad, but a lot of the black paper shows through, which maybe is, you know, just the makeup of the fluorescent pencil. Here's fluorescent, fluorescent yellow green. And one more. Let's do a blue. This is fluorescent light blue. Yeah, that one's not doing too well. Okay, so the fluorescents aren't the best on black. Um, you could see how a flesh tone does. Oh, nice. That laid down nicely. We'll pick out one of the darker ones. These work great on the black. Yes. And then we have all these purples here and some more greens, but I won't go through all of them. Of course, not all of them. But we'll just do this purple and one more green. We should maybe do a another uh, gray though. See how the grays look. I'll come over here. Okay, let's yeah, let's do a couple of the grays. So we have a dusky gray. Okay, that's not doing too bad either. And ice gray. Yeah, these are not doing too shabby. 
Let's try one of those last beautiful browns. Not bad. These pencils are actually quite opaque. Again, not as good as your higher end pencils, but that's not too bad, is it? Even the fluorescents, I guess, you know, they did okay, but there's quite a bit of black that shows through them. Um, the white, yeah, actually didn't do too bad. You can see the crumbles, though. So they are a little, little crumbly and... You know, with the crumbles, of course, it's going to smear a little. Um, metallics do not smear at all. And the regular ones don't. Let's uh, let's see on these. Don't see any. Do I have my eraser here? No. I was going to say we should see how they erase, but. Okay, so overall, like I said, I I very much like these pencils. I'll get all the tin again. Let me zoom back out. Um, yeah, would I recommend these? Yes. Do you need 300 pencils? Yeah, probably not, unless you're like me. Then, of course, you do. Again, this is very misleading. Um, they are soft, premium, expert, you know, um, an artist, no. And again, when they uh, have their light fast ratings on there, I do take those with a grain of salt also. For those of us who are just coloring enthusiasts, that light fast, you know, rating doesn't matter anyhow. That mainly is there for artists. Um, whose work is left out. You know, they sell it for commissions. Um, but for those of us who color and they're in coloring books, the light fast readings don't matter anyhow. So, whew, we made it. If you made it, put the word pencil or, hmm, what emoji can I have you put in? Some type of um, smiley face. How about that? A happy smiley face of some sort. Let me know you got to the end of this epic long video. <laughs> so I appreciate you sitting and watching this video. If you did watch the whole thing, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button on your way out. You can leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help my channel. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.